Hazard Harvey, who is a MMA athlete going pro this year. Yes, yes, that's the plan, that's the plan. You are fighting with who? I'm fighting with SPG in Charleston. Trained here for approximately eight years, and I'm going to take you through some self defense stuff today to help, help keep you safe on the street. First, what we're going to do is we're going to take you through some of the most common ways that you might find yourself in an aggressive situation, when you find yourself in a confrontational scenario. And we're going to give you two variations. We're going to give you the break and escape and the break and bad. <laughs> So one of the most common things that we see in a lot of street fights is going to be the shirt grab. He's stepping on my testosterone fuel beardness and I'm like, all right, fucker, I'm having you. Don't know why I went to London and that. A good grip and it's a standing one, isn't it? Thinking we're going to pull you about. Yeah, yeah. So you've got to make sure you deal with this grip really, really early. Um, again, especially Lex is a pretty big guy, so I don't want him hanging on to me here for too long and swinging me around. So I'm going to have to get rid of that grip nice and early. First thing I'm going to look to do because I'm going to make sure that I take my right hand, pop it on top of his hand, okay? Really important here that I catch at the baby finger, okay? It's the weakest part of the grip. So I'm going to catch the hand, reach over, and I'm going to have to peel this hand over. As I peel over, I just turn my shoulder in the direction of his arm. Peeling that, that hand off nice and quickly. And making sure straight away when I get off this angle is I torn off immediately. I don't want to stay here for any big shots. I'm going to push him off. I'm going to disengage as fast as I can. In real time, you'll be like, all right, grab, bam, pull, gone. <laughs> now, one more little thing to add to that. What would you do if you know they're going to hit you straight off this shot? I'm going to make sure I get my head off this center line. I don't want to leave my head in this line where, again, if that strike's coming, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to make sure the second I grab it up, I'm pulling my head out with that. It's always going to throw it directly to where my head last was. So we're going to make sure that head is off. As I break, I'm pulling that head off. Pushing off and disengaging quickly. So there you have it. That's the first break and escape. Now for the fun one. The break and batter. Option number two is where you have been left with no alternative but to make sure that you and the people around you are safe because this boy has got a little bit bouncy, he's got a little bit leery, he's fucking not having none of this, he ain't calming down and he's coming at you. So I come in, I'm intent on hurting you now, you've had enough, it's yeah. time to get out there, get yourself safe. Same as the last, I've got to make sure I break that grip and get off that center line, okay? So once I break that grip and get off that center line, I've now cocked my right shoulder for a big shot. So from here, big wide hook, not hitting like, boom, turning that hook right in and looking to land a devastating shot. Once I land, disengage and make sure you're safe from there. So we'll just give you a little bit of real time so you can see how it would work. So here I am, I fucking, you fucking want some? Do you want some? That ain't enough for you. Fucking head, fucking Okay, so common thing number two would be what is commonly seen. You got a fucking throat grab. So we've seen it, we've all seen it, we've come in and they've grabbed your throat. And immediately a lot of people here will panic, you'll just see them pull this face. What's your, what's your solution? So, yeah, you're going to find a lot of work trying to reach in at that, at that wrist and trying to fight at the hand here. It's an awful lot of work. We need to get out here quick. We can't afford to be panicking around and flapping. Immediately, right hand comes over at the crook of the elbow, left hand supports, I'm going to snap down and step back at the same time. Whoa. Disengage. Body weight, hips down, body through, boom. So you're stepping back, weight down. Snap. I'll grip quite tight there. You can see you've got nice and red. And I'm going to hop. No chance. No chance. You need to remember as well, on a grip like that on the neck, it's not really much of a grip. There's nothing on the back hole in my neck and I can always go backwards. It's more of a squeeze, okay? It's just slightly uncomfortable. All you've got to do, uh, straight over the crook of the elbow, support it with my left hand and snap down violently down here. I'm, I'm just not making sure you're off balance. So there's your break and escape. Break, break, and, break and batter. Again, got a bit lowry. I'm not definitely going to cause you some problems here. So I've come in, grab that throat, and you've got, you've got, you've got to just make sure you're safe now. Put an end to this idiot. I'm going to make sure, again, same thing, right hand over the top. I'm going to snap down fast and hard. Snap. From here, left hand on the head, and I'm going to spike that big right knee anywhere on that snap. I'm like, boom, straight up that middle line, okay? Once from there, disengage, okay? So you're just looking to land that knee, biggest side and the biggest mass you can see. It's a shot tactic. It's a shot, like I was saying, gotta land a big, hard shot. There's no point in, in flapping around here again with light shots, nothing, nothing that's gonna be significant. You gotta make sure that you're safe. So you gotta snap down, in, because I'm coming for your throat, so I have intent, you know, definitely, at this point, definitely. To, to cause you harm. So, 
in real time so you guys can see what it would be like. <sighs> All right. Do you want some? Do you want some? Fuck it! Oh, it's good. Yeah. Okay. The most common thing you'll see, third in line, is going to be when someone. Yeah. The double shirt grab. The double shirt grab. So the double or the double. We've got double shirt. Double throat. Now we're going to show you it from the double throat because this is the most um, confrontational side of it. Here we're a little bit safer, we're not actually having any physical harm at this point. If there's hands on the throat, it's a little bit immediate danger. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely trying to get out of here, okay? So the second they've got those two hands on the next, it's going to be very hard to fight two hands at one yeah, time. I've got a good grip now. There is more of a grip on yeah, this. Yeah, definitely. And, and if, <laughs> if he's big, he's going to crush our neck here pretty quickly, okay? So we've got to make sure that I bring both my hands on the inside to widen this grip. It's strong when it's together. Bringing it in and punching those hands in. From here, I'm gonna push on Lex's chest, but as I push, he's gonna go back. I have to make sure that I slide back as well, okay? So I don't wanna stay here and punch in. If I push him and he stays there, he's solid. I'm gonna make sure, punch in and push out as well. So that's the, you know, nice breaking escape. Breaking, breaking bad. So in, so he's got to, got to put it down again, he's got a bit Lowry, he's come at you. Same thing, punching inside, breaking that grip, okay? From here, we're going to take a double tie clinch, two hands on the neck, okay? From here, I'm going to, I'm going to look to headbutt Lex's nose. I'm making sure that I headbutt with this top part, that comb over part of my hair, lowering myself, driving straight into the nose. I pull his head onto the headbutt, throw him in, okay? Little things to note on that tie clinch, as you come around the back of the head, you're going to have one hand on the back, the other one's going to wrap over and on the top of that, and you're going to push your elbows into their chest. That gives you that real leverage, and you're really doing very little work at that point, so it's really pulling that head in. What we don't want to see is when we've got that clinch, is a wind up, and then come back in, because during that wind up, one, we're losing that, that tension we have here, where we've got control, and two, I'm opening myself up for that. Boom. So, in real time, what it would look like. <sighs> yeah. Get <Yeah>, works. <laughs> right, well, there you have it. Cheers, Asko. No problem, man. I, I definitely feel like I've learned a good few lessons there. Hopefully you guys have too. I want to emphasize this is for when you feel threatened and it's to help and keep you safe, people around you safe and just dealing with the situation. But this is what you will be learning. If you haven't been to a fight class or anything like that, it's things like this that you can put into real life situations that are not only going to keep you fit, they're going to keep you safe in the streets and in the gym. And uh, eventually we will have an entire series built up on this because this is going to be an ongoing thing and you're going to see us together doing this. Check out Hazard Harvey on Instagram. All his links are in the description and on the screen here. Definitely. And uh, anything else? Um, leave your comments below and suggest anything that you'd like me to hort Lex with next, most definitely. I can. Oh, yeah, cheers, mate. Yeah. See you then. Uh, we're going to start a new series together. Most definitely. Did you look like you were going to talk then and you yeah, didn't get yeah, to? Didn't get you did, didn't you? No. Yeah, yeah we go again. Yeah. So, obviously, so you got. There we go. Yeah, there. <laughs> Lately I've been doing